Hi guys, Eric from Dean in the Garage here, and I got my 2013 Subaru Cow Converter in front of me for one reason and one reason only. I have a California Mission car, and a California Mission car <laughs> um, needs a special type of converter because over there, then the West Coast, they want zero emissions, and they chase them hard. I don't know how I got um, a California car in New Jersey, don't know. But I have one, and um, the federal emissions, which is 49 state legal cattle converter, is what's well, $213. This guy right here. So this is the whole purpose of this video, is uh, seeing if we can beat California emissions, number one. Uh, number two, if you have a bad cattle converter, and it doesn't rattle, and it flows fine, you feel no surging, no problems of exhaust clogging, you can do this to bypass the 4042, P0420 code, which is a cattle efficiency below threshold bank one. Subarus, love them. I'm here today to show you a trick using spark plug fowlers. It's very simple. You take a half inch drill bit, you drill one of them, and you drill it so that the O2 sensor can seat nicely into the first fowler. Then you take the second fowler and screw it in to the first fowler, and then screw it in. So it will sit like this, just about an inch and a half out, and then it should read cleaner exhaust gases from being further out because you still have a hole. Yeah, I'll come up closer to you guys. I'll actually we'll open it up and show you basically what it's gonna look like. What you're doing is you're taking this, see how it doesn't fit, you're drilling a half inch hole into that, and then you're going to screw them together like that when all three are mated, and then screw it into the cow converter over here. Now, you might have clearance issues. I don't think I will. I just did this on my sister's car, and we have similar setups. Hoping I don't. <laughs> uh, if you don't, actually on eBay, they make 90-degree ones you can use, which will do the same thing. Now, one key thing is you can see. Oh. If you look in there, you can see the O2 sensor boss threads. And if you look a little closer, you can see the tip of the fowler. So that you will see there's still a hole in that, and will still flow exhaust gases through <laughs> sorry one-handed things are hard it will still flow exhaust gases through the uh, fowlers and let my air fuel ratio read the proper readings that it needs to adjust for it will read a little cleaner don't get me wrong and that's the whole point of me trying to run this system now i didn't mention what the dormant part number was but you can pick these up at advance they're on the shelf nine times out of ten they're always in the stock and uh, it's kind of funny, I realized the part number is 42002. So if you look at the first part of it, 4020. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> but anyways, without further ado, I'm going to start going to drill this out. And um, if I get it all together and it works right, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, well, I'm a monkey with a toolbox. And, you know, I just got everything together. And I was about to put an O2 sensor in on my... Uh, with spoulers and realized I stripped all the threads out with my um, <laughs> step drill bit, which was really, really stupid of me. So take note, when I say use a half inch drill bit and you don't have it, don't use your step drill bit. Go buy a new bit, which I just had to go do because I got to redo it all again. And that's how it's supposed to look, you know, still have threads. So continue watching the video. And uh, you can see what I do. <laughs> Remember, use a half inch drill bit. Now I can see is a nice big hole that the O2 sensor should fit through. One thing I suggest is that you clean it out with some brake clean. I suggest you put some anti-seize here. Making sure not to get it on the inside of the part. I'll get this little thread off here. Yeah, making sure not to get it inside of the part. And uh, you know, big globs anywhere. Just so that when it does time to take it off again, it's not rusted in there. So. And it should just thread nicely in if I did it right. And that was, seems like it's, hold on. There we are. Uh -huh. Guess what, I did the wrong thing first. Amateur hour. This one goes into this one. Like that. Alright. I'll make sure.
which that's a tight with two wrenches. And then you put anti-seize on this guy, I guess. And then we're good to go. We're golden. Jeez, not good thread. Here we go. And you know, two sensor goes at the end. And that's it. Tighten all that down, you're good to go. So, that's how you beat your P0420 code in any Subaru or even any other car that, that comes up with a cat efficiency below threshold and the cat is still good, just not cleaning the air enough for it. Because that's what a cat does, it cleans the air. It takes some of the pollutants out of it. <sighs> Alright guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe. You know what to do with everything else. Etsy, Facebook, you know, T Instagram, whatever you want to do. Hit the like button. Find us around anywhere. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bonus footage. Seafoam in the Outback right before the new Cadillac Converter.